Today's adventure brings us to Los Angeles, California, to the land that was donated by this guy, Griffith J. Griffith. And even though his life was filled with a little bit of controversy, the park still remains as his namesake. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, tagging along as Danny702. How many times have you been into this particular area? Well, I'm from LA. I have passed it many a times, but I can't think of when I've actually really gone through it and explored it. I think we should do that today. Yeah. Kind of mosey in. There's plenty to see. It'll be like a whole mishmash of, of content that we're doing mishmash. on this property. I'm inviting you to join me and Danny702. Shall you? Obviously, we'll not be covering every nook and cranny because the premises is vast, but we'll get to some of the key points for sure. For one reason or another, the pigeons like wading around in the very shallow water here. They appear to be feeding too. There must be some seeds or little nuggets of goodness to munch on down in there. First up, gonna take a train ride. The fares listed there on that signage. Adults, $3.50 each. Two different locomotives, the Stanley Diamond, dated 1992, and the Colonel Griffith, dated 1983. And these are the seating arrangements. Just about to open their doors. the bend. First ride of the day. Toot toot. Oh, the conductor is waving. We got some cacti, some cactus down here. And even though it is nearing end of January, holiday items still on property. Bunny rabbits. A little bit of Easter even. Maybe they represent all holidays. Hello, bunny. Going through the tunnel. Mining. I like how the front one was chilling, but the other ones are hard at work. Yep, that's how it goes. Right on the other side of that fence are pedestrians walking, some occasional traffic going by. But don't mind us. Just out for a train ride. maintenance and they park them for the evening. 
pulling back into the station. It's just a little strange that it's almost Feb a week away from February, give or take. Yeah. They still got the Christmas They're stuff. They're still huh? celebrating. Oh it. yeah. For one ticket, you can do an old-fashioned hayride, five dollars each. And this is our pony. Well, it's not really a pony; it's a tractor carrying the trailer. But this is what we're boarding. Yes, having a little bit of a whomp, 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 whomp moment. Was told it is not quite operational today. Got our tickets, but they are issuing now a refund. We just have we just have to look at it. It's not moving. Just have to look at it and then move on. The worker just informed us that the tractor was giving them a little trouble and making some interesting noises, so they figured it'd be best just not to not to run it. I know you're a little disappointed not to do the old-fashioned hay ride, and I was going to suggest just reaching over and touching the hay to get it, but no, do no, not touch. Just, okay, just 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 gander at it, just stare. That could have been us sitting right there. Fail. There is something very interesting at the bottom of the hill next to the park ranger headquarters and the visitor center for the park. If you remember the television version of Beauty and the Beast starring Ron Perlman and Linda Hamilton, the beast layer was set up right around this sewage tunnel. Well, it's not really sewage, more of a drainage runoff for when it floods, but they put you know, a little bit of some trees and brush right around this, just for a couple of shots. That's what I've always heard. But inside the tunnel itself, if you go up in here, there used to be some graffiti. It looks like it's been spray painted over. People would leave their mark and their love of the television show here on the side of the walls. But I'm not seeing, at this point, I'm not seeing any. Yeah, it looks like it's all been erased. A few years ago, I was in here and it still remained etched on the side of the, on the side of this tube, but not anymore. I can kind of see why it was painted over, but those who made the pilgrimage to leave their mark, there's nothing here designating that they did so anymore. A ceramic history lines these walls and then over here on the back side of where i currently am is that iconic sign the opposite side of the mountain and the lion the lone lion that roams the hillside the hollywood side would be here on the left we are just venturing through this particular this particular area on this side some of the other animals that can be found around these parts, bobcat, coyote, foxes, raccoons, even a striped skunk over there. Here's a photo of Colonel Griffith just kind of strolling the streets. That's, that's what he looked like in picture form. Gotta love this historic carousel where Walt Disney himself used to hang out. Side of the old Los Angeles Zoo closed in the mid 60s, opened in 1912 to 1965 open to the general public. In fact, quite a few hikers and locals always walk around. Some walking their dogs right now. Pretty neat to think that animals were all in here. It was an active attraction. In fact, it was right over in this section where Ron Burgundy was trapped in Anchorman with the bear. There's a painting of a penguin with a chef, chef hat up there. See the penguin with the chef hat? Yeah, that's uh, Molly the penguin. Molly? I don't know what it says. 
looks like it says Molly from back here. Molly the penguin. <laughs> if you're daring enough, you could go up inside the cages themselves. I've been here in the past and normally they are locked, but currently all the locks are open. what it's like. This is what it's like to be in a cage in a zoo. What kind of animal are you? A monkey? A monkey? I'm gonna say I'm a bear. You're a bear and a monkey. <laughs> Start hang I if I could hang from this. Oh yeah. I don't know, I might need a test <laughs> shot though. <laughs> yeah yeah, I would advise it. Approaching our second railroad experience, the live steamers. Available for public view. Your head must touch the bottom of the lantern in order to ride. One round trip from the new Sherwood station. In that case is a scale model wooden Pacific class. And a box of Huggies just went by. I did not realize when we got in line that we'd be waiting the time frame we have. It is now 1 p.m. We got here at this location at noon. So one hour waiting in the queue. Busy. Thankfully, we have an umbrella over our heads to block us from the sun. Oh, yeah. So that helps. Been here for a while. We're over 60 minutes. We're almost at probably another two trains, give or take. I think so. See these up here? And it's not hot out. It's not hot, and we're in the shade. Yeah. So it's a double good. Yes. Double, double good. If that's even a turn. Oh, so close. We're oh, so close. And that's the size of it right there. Teeny and tiny. Just taking a picture of that in case I don't give it back. That's a document that's for posterity. It was just you two, right? Just in, the two of us. And the camera? Okay, and the cell phone? Okay, very good. <laughs> Try to keep your feet on the inside of those rails so we don't grab anything by your toes. It's not fun when you do. If you drop something, simply raise your hand. I will stop the train. I will get it. I will bring it back to you. Do not get off the train unless I ask you to. Any questions? That guy up there is living dangerously. He's like perched up. He also has a little tiny chair with him. Careful up there. Hey, we're moving. Careful up there on that roof. Hello there. The old man on the 
porch. my glasses oh, no. we have our, my, another pair of glasses that have been lost this is why you don't want to lean your hand inside of it <laughs> should have should have been a little more prepared Woo. that's probably gonna bruise up just a little bit Mistaken. That wasn't the end. Appreciate it. Thank you. Come again. And they even have merchandise for sale. Hats, bandanas, and whistles. Wooden whistles. It is pretty wild to think something of this size is what was pulling over 25 passengers. Here comes an even smaller version. And... Two 
two things to chime in about this spot. The wait time, rather length lengthy, and then my hand. You think it'll bruise? Yeah. <laughs> oh, because no. there's there's thing I, I should have kept my hands in a little tighter, which they warned, they said keep your camera kind of near your chest. I kind of just eked it out just a little bit. I mean, just just slightly. There were just things yeah. all around you. So I almost even did it. God. Yeah. Oh well, I have, a little, I have a little memento of this occasion. Oh, no. <laughs> Less than about a quarter of a mile down is yet another known as Travel Town. And yes, they have trains. Full-size versions on display. But I think this episode has kind of morphed into riding the miniature ones. And they have that as well. And as an example, here it comes now. Going down the track. And that streetcar from San Francisco is now here in Southern California. There's grass growing on the top of it. Oh yeah, this is happening. That has a roof shielded from the elements. Looks like there's plenty of room. We shouldn't have to wait too long to, yeah. to board that one. Hopefully this is a walk-on versus an hour wait. That looks like a walk-on. <laughs> Number 28, and there is that grass growing from the roof I was mentioning a second ago. Interesting perspective, the full size, the tiny version, and freeway traffic all in the same frame off in the distance. Indoors is this little museum area. This entire section, parking and coming into Travel Town itself, is absolutely free. Free admission. The Carnation milk truck there. That's a classic. However, if you want to ride the Mini Railroad, adults, 350. I believe it's owned by the same people from the first one we rode. So first one and this one owned by one separate entity and the live steamers, the second one, another company. These look to be original ticket windows. The first one was about this size, but didn't have didn't have the roof. Second one was about a quarter of this size. Tiny. You straddled it, yeah. and then this one might be the the most expansive and the the most decent size wise. I think we've got a lot more room in here. Nowhere near full size. Oh no! Like it's like quarters. See, the last one was eight scale. This one might be quarter scale. Fifth scale? Sixth? Uh -huh. Seventh scale? <laughs> Maybe seven. Scale. <laughs> Maybe six. One six. It's scale. <laughs> Seems legit. I don't know. In the seat. A tiny, tiny, full complete stop back here at the station. Our intonation. San Jose, California. You say San Jose? I think so.
second loop. The second grand tour. Nice. Courage, 1991. I have a good balance. There we go. <laughs> You're better at teetering up on the. <laughs> I got two. <laughs> and now I have, I have sun. I have to like the sun in my eyes now. But that's gonna do it for today. Three, 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 three. <laughs> that's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm kneeling. I feel like I'm in a music video now. <laughs> That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Let's keep you in the loop and update on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell, and check in the description box. I'll put a link to Danny702's channel down there as well. Three, we did three miniature Griffith Park trains. Do you have a favorite? Something you're going to remember out of that trilogy? Ooh, that's a tough one. They were all really cool, but I think the first one. The first one yeah. was your favorite. Just because it was the first train of the day. I will remember number two. I think you will. Because I will have a permanent etched in my head. Hopefully not a scar, but maybe a scar. And I lost, I lost some treasured sunglasses. You might have a good bruise for a little while there. For a little while. Yeah. To my ego especially, to my filming ego. <laughs> Not real. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is off.